98, a burst of light into my body. 2006, he took me to hell and back. I could see the spiritual realm since I was eight years old. I was running like Joan in the well. That's when he was April 17, 2008. At 2 o'clock that night, he shook my whole house and wanted to call Jesus Christ. He said, enough is enough. I still didn't want to hear it. So at 20-something years old, I put the pillow over my head. So in about 15 minutes of my sleep, I was awakened. And I was transformed from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. I was made new. And I was descending down to a building. That building had a window with it about 60 feet across. Go up past the brown table that had white flowers on it. And I looked through that window. The sky rolled back and the smoke was flying. He said, enough is enough. That's when I looked up. He said, Chicago will be the first of all. And I saw a missile and it obliterated Chicago. What's going on in Chicago every day? Can you tell? Can you tell? The murders. Right? Can you tell? Not only that, when I found out that was going on in Chicago, every day, can you tell? Can you tell? The murders, right? Not only that, when I'm fraternal, the twin brother came here. One, the first building or the Roman Catholic Church that they set up was in Chicago. The Bible says, How be it the most high dwelleth the temple was not made with hands to set the permanent, the heaven is his throne, the earth is his footstool. What house can you build for him? You can't. All right. So he, that is going to drop because of the first establishment of the Roman Catholic Church there, the violence there. And then he came back years later and said, Jamestown, Virginia will be the last thing. I know you know what happened at Jamestown, Virginia. Pilgrims, right? They dock in Jamestown, Virginia, you know, then Massachusetts and all that other kind of mess. So he said, Isaiah 43 and 6, because you have held the children of Israel and refused to let them go. Our fraternal twin brother, he knows who we are, but he he took slavery too far. In Romans 9 and 13, the Bible says he hated Esau for what he's doing. You understand? The most I hate, the one they say, the one they call God, say he hate him. Because he said he had a perpetual hatred toward his brothers. And also, the book of James. The whole James 1 describes religion. It's no such thing according to the Bible. It's all man made. That's why they're going up in these mosques, blowing each other up. That's why they're going up in these churches. The Bible calls them whorehouses, Jeremiah 5 and 7. Last but not least, I'm almost done. You ever heard the tribe? The, 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 um, I got a stutter. I told you they tried to kill me. You ever heard the term my tribe is over here chanting, Hiya, Hiya, Hiya? The so called Indians, Hiya. That's because that is God's name in the Hebrew. Hiya, Shora, Hiya. I am that I am. Christ's name is not Jesus or Jupiter or Zeus. There's no J's in the Hebrew alphabet. It's Yeshaya, which means my Savior, all right? The government tried to kill me uh, about three or four months ago. Fired three, nine millimeter shots at my house. My window, the most I stopped the bullets. I got a screenshot in my phone. I can show you the bullets. What I do is real. I'm a walking, living witness. All due respect. I deal with GOCC. I deal with a group of men. You notice I say I deal. Christ didn't deal with a, a lot of people, did he? He had how many disciples? Twelve, right? You know why? Two of them did what? They betrayed him for, one of them betrayed him for 30 pieces of silver, right? Judas, right? And Peter, what? Denied him. All right? So they got a problem because the Most High chose a woman. But there are women in the Bible like me that are not recognized. Deborah, she was a judge and a prophetess. And a, at the end, when Christ came, I say the end because he died and rose up back to heaven. He was prophesying the redemption of Christ in Luke second chapter, and here I am prophesying the redemption. Your redemption draws nigh. So what you got to do is you got to come out of those corner houses before the big bombs drop from the sky. All right? Yeah, you have no Christmas, no Easter, no Thanksgiving. All that stuff is pagan. Jeremiah ten chapter tells you they were putting up a Christmas tree before Christ was even born. But if you look up GOCC, I gained about fifty-seven thousand followers worldwide. But like I said, it's not about the about the followers. Because Christ only had 12 disciples, all right? And two of them throw them to the dust. You understand? So, and plus I'm a female, but you better get with it. Because like I said, my spirit, I'm a warrior. You understand me? I was a warrior before I went into this man's military. You understand me? So I'm not dealing with him. Last thing he showed me coming out in white with a group of people. And he smit the Egyptians. He sat in the waves and wheeled over John Shad. You wonder why they bombing Yemen? That's Joel, the third chapter. With all due respect, you're looking at a female Moses, and he's told me to go out and prophesy and say, Thus said the Most High, it's time, it's time. And he tell me the Bible calls those men, the Pharisees, said she's scribes to kill Christ, to drop them in the dust. Guess what? Shabbat Yasharal is not going to drop a tea. I didn't cry at my mom's funeral. You understand me? This is how serious this is. And she knew I could see at an early age, and last, her last words to me was, You're not a prophet. But she knew it. She knew it to the core, but she was in pain. I forgive her. But what I'm, I'm just using that example to tell you what you step first that you're dealing with standing in front of you, front of you. I'm not here to play a game with you. Understand me? I also, I also let people know whatever you're doing in, in your life. When I speak today, is you got to make a change. Understand me? I'm not here to judge you, but this is 
He said, and now it's been all your ways, and I shall direct your path. And it was you this morning. I don't know who else. Do you understand? How I, that's how I go and I speak. Oh, I, 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 I. And Leah said, Here cometh a troop. And she called his name Gad. And he shall overcome at the last. Overcome Gad, overcome.